today I'm going to be talking about cataract. The definition of cataract is the clouding of the lens. It is the most common cause of treatable blindness in this world, and this is a picture of a cataract. There are a few types of cataract, which are the nucleus cataract, the posterior subcapsular cataract, and the cortical cataract. So for nucleus cataract, the lens nucleus will become cloudy. For posterior subcapsular cataract, you can see that the cataract lies immediately deep to the posterior part of the lens capsule. Over here, you can see some greyish things. That's the cataract, posterior subcapsular cataract. And whereas for cortical cataract, there will be peripheral opacities. And this type of cataract, usually there is no effect on the vision, but those opacity that encroach upon the visual axis will affect the vision. And that's when treatment is indicated. So what are the causes of cataract? We can divide them into ocular causes, which are local causes, and systemic causes. For ocular causes, there is ocular trauma, for example, penetrating injury or blunt trauma to the eye, uvitis, topical steroid eye drops may cause cataract, and intraocular tumour, for example, ciliary body tumours may impinge physically on the lens, causing cataract. For systemic causes, there are diabetes, Metabolic disorders, for example, galactosemia or hypocalcemia, prolonged usage of steroids, radiation, infection like congenital rubella, inherited diseases, for example, congenital cataract, or if adult cataracts, for example, in cases like myotonic dystrophy, there might be cataract as well. It's also commonly seen in Down syndrome. The symptoms of cataract, the patient may present with painless loss of vision and glare due to the light scattering in the eye. And they might complain that driving at night is a problem because of the glare of the headlights of other cars. And there might be change in refraction. For example, um, there will be myopic shift in nuclear cataract where the patient becomes more short-sighted. For the signs of cataract, if seen on direct ophthalmoscope, we can see a dark silhouette against the right reflex. This picture over here shows the, you can see the blackish shadow, which is the cataract. And on slit lamp examination, we can detect the precise location, the type of cataract, and also the morphology. The treatment of cataract is uh, cataract surgery. It is indicated when the cataract has produced sufficient visual symptoms to reduce the quality of life of the patient. And we don't have to wait until the cataract is ripened and cause major visual loss. We can start cataract surgery. And there are a few types of surgery, like fecal emulsification, where the surgeon will break down the cataract fragments, remove the fragments, and then replace with an intraocular lens implant. And also ECCE, which is the extra capsular cataract extraction, where the surgeon will make a small incision and the posterior lens are conserved. And the third type is intracapsular cataract extraction, where the whole lens is removed. So these are a few complications of the cataract surgery, like vitreous loss, if the posterior capsule is accidentally torn during operation, causing the vitreous gel to prolapse forward into the anterior chamber. There will be vitreous loss. And other complications include iris prolapse, endophthalmitis, which is inflammation of the whole the eye. It is very serious, but it's rare, and it usually presents a few days after the surgery. And there are three signs to suggest endophthalmitis, which are painful red eye, reduced visual acuity, and hypopion which means there's a collection of white cells in the anterior chamber. And this endophthalmitis is a surgical emergency. Other complications of cataract surgery are cystoid macular edema and retinal detachment and opacification of the posterior capsule of the lens. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.